well, I've got four beads, three seeds, and uh, a merit and a distinction, which I'm extremely happy with. Um, I didn't think I was going to get that many beads. I thought it was going to be mainly seeds, which I, I'm extremely happy with how I've done. And uh, maths was one of my main things, and I, I got a B in that. And that was probably through going through to all the revision sessions that I did. I signed up for quite a lot of math revision sessions. I got um, three A stars, four A's, a couple of B's, a pass and a distinction. Um, yeah, that's alright, it's decent. Um, I guess a lot of it was due to like coming to revision sessions, which and like a bit at home as well, but probably most of the revision sessions. Um, yeah, I received uh, one A star, the rest A's and B's. Um, I'm really happy about an A star in PE because that's what I want to do as a career. Um, I got that A star by attending Saturday morning and after school revision, so I'd really. What's the word? Recommend that you attend those. Um, same for geography, the Saturday mornings help that a lot. Okay, I'm Olivia and I'm really happy today because I got two A stars, three A's, and three. Um, I'm Holly and I've got two A stars, four A's, and me. Um, I was really pleased about my English because I got an A star in both English literature and language and English is something I've always been fond of and I felt there was a lot of support in the English department. I felt most supported in the history department because they offered a lot of sessions after school and on Saturdays which isn't as unbearable as it sounds and um, I'm quite happy with my results for those because I'm taking the A level and the teachers are all really supportive and friendly. Um, I really recommend taking part in these school trips that are all offered because in particular the geography trip was extremely helpful because not only was it fun, there was a lot of revision time which helped me get the A star in geography that I wanted. Hi, I'm Ellie and I got roughly season above and everything which I'm really proud of because I was off for a long time with an operation. Didn't think I'd get these kind of results due to the fact I was off for ages. I did, passed my English and my maths, which is my main, my maths was my main kind of struggle, but I passed it. I'm Kevin and I also passed all of my, but I'm mostly proud of the history because I didn't think it was that at all, and you did good at also English, but both my English is on top that I got beat. Um, I'm Morgan and overall I've got um, C's and a couple of D's, but I'm mostly proud of passing my maths. Because um, every <laughs> every test I've done, I've got an E, and I've just come out with a C. <laughs> with a C. <laughs> so I'm really, really proud of myself. Well done, so we're all proud of them all. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy with my results. Um, I do feel I could have done better in my science, but the ones I really that really matter to me, I did do well in. I mean, I got an A in my PE and an A in my English language, so I'm really happy with that. Um, it was hard balancing out of it training and whatnot because I do compete for England but um, I do train like five times a week but the after school reading sessions do really well and it's sometimes difficult to fit them in but you've got to make sure you do them so you won't get through to them. Any particular departments you found have been really helpful for you this year? Um, the science because there's been one on almost every night and that's where I really lacked this year I think. So what would your advice be to the current year 10 going into year 11 for them for that next year? Don't underestimate the, um, the effort you have to put in, because you really do have to put a lot of effort in. Um, try and take it seriously, because I, I don't think I did at the start, and I think that's part of the reason why I didn't get as good a grade as I wanted my science, but I think you just put the effort in, and make sure you stick at it and get the grades wrong. Hi, I'm Jez. Uh, I've come in for my results, and I've past all of them, including maths and English, which is a big thing for me because I can go on to college and uh, if everyone comes to sixth form and do sports and engineering, which I've wanted to do, but I was just waiting on my results. Uh, I've, I've worked hard for it and uh, it shows my hard work's paid off and I've got all the grades. What did you do to uh, get your results then? How have you prepared for them? Uh, uh, a lot of the revision classes were which were put on is like a seven year period. I used to go to a lot of them to make sure I pass my maths. Which... And what would be your advice for um, students in next year's year 11? Oh, just don't, don't start with bad until late. Uh, 
you may think, oh, I don't need to start revising yet, I've, I've got loads of time, but you really don't. Uh, you need to start revising early, so passing can come out with good grades. You don't want to look like a, an idiot when you come into the... You're going to be real nervous. You, you, you won't think about it yet, but when it comes to it, you're going to be real nervous, so put in the hard work and you'll come out with good grades. Hi, I'm Zooks. I'm really pleased with my results that I got. I got all round C's, a B, and I think I deserve what I got because I worked really hard. I was happy with my B Tech spot because I got a distinction star. Worked really well in that, but my overall, I reckon, uh, I'm really pleased with my English. So I got to see, I worked really hard. Started off at the beginning of the year working hard, and I carried on through right to the end. I didn't stop, and I think that's why I achieved to see. Uh, I'm overall really pleased. What would your advice be for next year's year oh, 11? Um, I'd say don't, don't like, start late, don't bother starting yet, try that cool. I'd rather just get your head down nice early, do as much your work as you can in revision, and don't be shy, go to revision sessions and stuff, like hang back or say I'm not going because I think I'm not too cool, just go and get it all done. I don't know what to say, my results are unbelievable. I'm very happy. What did you get? Um, I got two B's, four A's, and two. Four A stars. What did you get your A stars in? I um, got one in geography, which I never expected whatsoever. Um, another in additional science, and I got two distinction stars in um, my beta card and beta spot. And so, how did you prepare for your exams then? Um, well, I prepared a lot of revision before the exam season started and it paid off really good. Was that revision at home? Um, both revision at school and at home as well. And what re um, revision did you find most helpful? Um, I thought revision at school really helps because obviously the teachers were there to support and yeah. I'm Maisie and I got an A star and a the recipes. And, um, I'm particularly happy with my A star in history because I worked really hard for it and I'm just really happy about that. <laughs> um, I'm Helena and I got um, A stars in history, maths, biology and chemistry and then I got some A's in a B in German um, and I'm really happy with my distinction star in performing arts because I like, worked really hard to get it and I want to try if I do very well in it. So. Hi, I'm Emily and I got a um, an star in history, which I'm proud of because I stay back every Tuesday <laughs> with Miss Horribin. So I'd advise that you all do the same. <laughs> well, I got a C in maths and I actually can't believe it because I never expected that I'd even pass maths. I was the only one that I was scared about. But I think I got a C in maths because everyone in the maths department helped me out. To be fair, I don't think one of them will forget my name because I was quite annoying. But I attended the revision lessons and stuff, even though it's like it's not something that you want to do, but you've got to do it if you want to get the grades. And I'm really happy that I actually did it in the end. All the help of the maths, like that's, that was, they were the biggest department that gave me help because I wasn't confident at all. And then when they moved me up to higher, I was really shaky about it. And they just moved me forward and just built my confidence up to give me everything that I needed to get my seat. So. There's not another school that I know of where the teachers will get together as much as this school and I'll just push you to the limit but sometimes you think oh, they're preaching again but it's not preaching because in the long run once you look at this piece of paper and you've got the results you, you don't, you're lost for words to I don't even know what to say. It's the same with the English department really because we, we had different teachers, we had swapped teachers so much and we, we were back and then uh, we yeah. Miss Davis. Yeah we got Miss Davis and one of Miss Davis and she pushed us forward because we were bad grades. The thing, we thought, we thought oh she's, she's going on again, she's, yeah. she's going on but in the long run I got my C out of it and she's just I thought it's funny in the past to mess about in class and be a class clown, but I made it harder for myself because I had to attend them revision lessons because I messed about. But I could have got these results easy if I didn't mess about. But either way, revision lessons, lessons, everything, just get your head down, get on with the work, get your grades, and that's it. Uh, hello, I'm Michael Holliday. I got uh, seven A stars, including uh, separate sciences of biology, chemistry, and physics, maths. Which I got 100% in the testing and geography. 
then I've got a B in French and an A in English Literature, as well as a distinction in IT. Um, and separate to my GCSEs, I've got a B in a uh, additional mathematics class, which I did, which I really wasn't expecting. Um, so, especially with the additional mathematics, <laughs> I'd like to thank my teachers, because uh, additional maths I did after school. Um, so it was Miss Hill's own time, and um, I mean, I chose to give up my time, but that one, a problem was that the teacher was willing to stay after school, and um, the geography department was <laughs> like exceptional. I know they did a um, revision class every single night. Um, <coughs> So, and I went to quite a few. That's probably why I got my A star in geography, even though I wasn't quite expecting it. Hi, I'm Rachel. Um, in my GCSEs, I got five Bs, three A's, and an A star in the past and a distinction. Um, and I'm really happy with these results, but it was a lot of hard work. Um, I was revising every night at home for hours, especially for history and science. And Miss Farnell, my history teacher, stayed behind like loads of nights. And even when other people didn't want to stay, she just stayed with me and helped me through it. Um, I think I'd advise all of you to just revise as much as you can, like make loads of posters and go over all of your notes as much as you can. Because just get everything in your memory because that's that's what it is really. You just need to remember everything and then you'll do well. I was so nervous today getting all my results, but I'm just I'm so happy with what I got. I was so nervous about my English literature, but it, it's gone really well, and I'm so happy about it. And I don't think I would have got the A star job that I got today if it wasn't for the commitment of the teachers, because all those Saturday sessions in the Northumberland trip they, they were really really worth it. I'm just I'm just happy. Just try hard and. Just revise a lot, it is worth it in the end.